Hello and welcome. My name's Ali from Tiger Gifts. Thank you for having a look at our video on how to tie your easy breezy poncho. Why not grab yourself a drink, a nice comfy chair, sit back and enjoy. You're about to see how the poncho can be worn either as a scarf, a jacket, a halter neck top, of course a poncho and lots of other different variations. Thank you for looking and enjoy the video. Okay, holding up both sides of your poncho and then you'll see here that there's a larger hole. This is where you put your head through. So you've got fabric at the front and the excess you push over at the back so it goes over your shoulders. Even it up so you've got the same at the front and the back and you have a poncho. Taking the front pieces like so folding them over, that gives you a drape. If you lift your arms up at the side, you see you've got the front piece and the back piece. If you take the back corner and the front corner, just tie them both into a little small knot. That forms a sleeve. Do the same on the other side. You've got the front piece, you've got the back piece, tying them into a small knot. There's your jacket with a sleeve. For those who would like a little bit more modesty with their jacket, you can always add a little brooch or a small scarf pin to the front. Or you can also grab the two little front pieces here at the corners, tie those into a knot as well, and that'll stop the wind from blowing that front section over. So from the poncho, we're now going to learn how to do the boat neck top. So what you want to do is turn the top sideways. So you've got the split at the front, the split at the back, as you turn your poncho around to the side, those splits now become where your arms come through. And you've got the front section here. You can wear it just plain like this. So, from this design, we're now going to turn the top into a batwing top. Similar to how we did the jacket, you've got the front section and you've got the back section. So now take the tops of both of those and just tie a small knot. Take the bottom two pieces, tie a small knot. So lifting it out to the side, knotting the top, knotting the bottom, put your arm through. So now you've got the split down the side, the knot at the top, the knot at the bottom, and a back wing. Doing the same on the other side. You've got the back and the front. Tie a small knot at the top. A small knot at the bottom. Put your arm through. There's the split. Knot at the top, knot at the bottom. And again, you've got that wing top. Now we're going to learn how to tie the halter neck. So you want the top is the boat neck style with no other knots or ties into it. So then I'll just turn sideways so you can see. We're going to bring the back section over to the front. As you'll see, my back's now got nothing across it. Loosely tie the top two pieces. The two longer pieces, which were the front, now get tied behind your back.
and this is what makes the halter. From here you can wear it just as a scarf tied or you can just loosen the front section like so and you still have the halter back, a little cowl neck with its own scarf. If it turns a little bit cool all you need to then do is drop the two little front pieces from the front back over your shoulders and you've also got a built-in little shawl. You can also wear your top in a couple of different ways as scarves as well. The first one, you make sure that you, all of your knots are undone. Bring the back piece over to the front so the back has nothing on it and the front has two shorter pieces and two longer pieces. Now, if you cross tie the long ones and the short ones together, like so, that gives you your first long scarf. From here, you can undo, take it off your head, Now, twisting a few times, put the scarf around your neck and that just gives you a little scarf front. You can also just tuck the tails in through the neckline and that gives you just a little bit more of a modest look or if it's a bit cooler and you just want the chest part covered as well. I hope you enjoyed our demonstration video on how to wear your Easy Breezy Poncho. Just a couple of little helpful hints for you girls, especially if you're travelling. It's always so hard when you've got so many clothes and you're trying to fit them into those little suitcases. They never seem quite big enough. Okay, so all you need to do is take a couple of black outfits, a couple of white outfits and a selection of our Easy Breezy Ponchos. I'll show you how much room they don't take up. You fold, fold again, just keep folding in half and that's how much room they take up. If you've got all those different tops, so much variety, and it's only that much space. Again, if you're going out for the day and you want to have a variety of outfits, all you need to do is take a poncho with you. You can wear it in the morning either as a scarf or as a halter neck, and as the day goes on, if you need to warm up a little bit, put it on as a poncho, or if you want to glam up a bit, put it back as the halter neck. It's so versatile, and it takes up that much room in your handbag as well. All scarves should be hand washed, that way you're guaranteed that they'll last a lot longer. Okay, all you do is put a little bit of cool water into the sink, add a little bit of really soft detergent, give it a little bit of a wash, rinse through until the water runs clear, grab a towel, pat dry and then hang on the line. It'll be dry in no time at all, especially if there's a breeze. If you're travelling, do the same thing, but obviously if you don't have access to a line, just pop it on a coat hanger and hang it up in the shower recess or on the side of the wardrobe and again it'll be dry in no time at all. Please have a look at our website. We have an online shop where you can buy our ponchos and other scarves. And please look again also at the other videos that will be coming along and they'll have lots of different ways to wear our scarf range. Thank you again from Ali at Tiger Gifts.